Hi everybody, I'm Wes from the Mount Laurel Library and I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of very quick and easy recipes that you can hopefully find the ingredients for within your cupboard at home and that you hopefully won't have to go out to the store and get since we're all in quarantine and we're all looking for delicious food to eat. Um, so I'm also going to be using one of our eBooks. It's called Hack Your Cupboard. Um, this is it here. This is one of the recipes. There you go. Um, so yeah, I'll be using that and let's get started. All right, so this is Lily, our assistant. Um, we're gonna be making garlic bread first. So first you'll just need a, any kind of bread. The recipe calls for Italian bread, but I don't have that. So we're just using $1 Walmart bread. Um, and then we have butter. And we also are gonna be using salt. The recipe calls for garlic salt. So we're just gonna use salt and um, two cloves of finely chopped garlic. All right, so the first step is you're gonna put in three tablespoons of butter. You can just eyeball it, it's nothing fancy. And then after that, you're gonna put in a pinch of salt. Good. And then just the finely chopped garlic. Good. And then you're just gonna put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. All right, so it's done. So all you do is you take your spoon and you just put one spoonful on each piece of bread. Just spread it out. Okay, so we actually ran out of the butter, the garlic butter, so we doubled the recipe. Um, but that's the beauty of cooking at home with your family is sometimes you'll mess things up and you just have to go back to the drawing board. But um, if you double that recipe, you'll have enough for eight slices. So that's done and we're just gonna set this aside for right now and we're gonna put, um, the oven on 350 degrees. All right, so while the garlic bread is off to the side and the oven is preheating to 350 degrees, we're gonna do the pasta. And it's just a very basic pasta recipe. So it calls for penne pod pasta, but all I have in the cupboard is elbow pasta. So. This is all about using what you already have, so that's what we're gonna use. And um, it also asks for diced tomatoes, but I have a can of tomato sauce, and I'm gonna use that. Uh, I put in four crushed cloves of garlic in here, three tablespoons of butter, four tablespoons of olive oil. Well, I didn't have olive oil, so I use canola oil. This is gonna be for the sauce, by the way. So you just keep it all in there. A pinch of salt. And then a little bit of red pepper, just a pinch. We'll put that off to the side and then we'll get the macaroni ready. Also, this is half of a box that I had left over. So, we're just gonna fill up this pot with water. No exact measurements, very easy. And you're just gonna set it on medium high and let it boil with some salt in it as well. All right, so the water's boiling now. I put in a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna put this in here. So in a small bowl, we're gonna put our mixture with the butter, 
the garlic, the pepper, and the oil into here. And then we're gonna put in our sauce. We're just gonna heat this up to about medium. And then we're just gonna wait for that to boil. And while this is doing its thing, I'm gonna put in the garlic bread. And this will have to bake for about 15 minutes or just until it's crispy looking. You can just kind of keep checking on it. All right. All right, so this is just gonna be boiling for about eight to 10 minutes. So just keep checking on that until it's done. This is our sauce and butter garlic mixture. Just until it starts to bubble, um, just keep stirring it. And once that's done, we'll combine the pasta and the sauce. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I've turned off the heat on this pot here and I've strained the pasta. So I'm just gonna put it back into the bowl. And this has been on the stove for about 10 minutes as well. So I'm just going to pour this in here like that. Mix it up for now. And then I'll show you when it's plated. All right, so this recipe will give you about four servings, pretty, pretty generous servings. Um, the recipe calls for grated Italian cheese, but I have ShopRite taco cheese, so we're just gonna make do with that. That should be good. And now we're gonna take out the garlic bread. It looks done. All right, so it looks done, crispy. That's what you're looking for. Put that there. And to make it a little fancy, I guess, I have some parsley flakes, so I'm just gonna add that to it. Just tap some on there. Give it a little pizzazz. All right. All right, so here's the final product. Looks pretty tasty. Lily, what do you think? Lily's gonna try it out. Cheesy. Okay, what about the bread? It's good? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, now we're gonna do dessert. All right, so for dessert, this is also gonna be very easy and quick. And it's also from the Hack Your Pantry cookbook. Um, it's just gonna be a brownie in the microwave. So the recipe calls for two tablespoons of flour, one tablespoon of butter, about two tablespoons of oil of any kind. That should be good. Two tablespoons of milk, And then we're gonna use two packets of hot cocoa. I just use Swiss Miss because that's what I had available. So just tear it, pour it in. And then the last one. Smells really good. Okay. 
and you just mix it up. Pretty self-explanatory, just until it gets a watery consistency, kind of like a battery consistency. All right, that should do it. Just wanna not make a mess. And then we're gonna put it in the microwave. All right, so you're actually gonna put it in the microwave for about 15 seconds first, just to heat it up. And then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna stir it and put it back in the microwave. So the reason that we did that was to melt the butter. So we're just gonna mix it around again. And then we're going to put it back in the microwave with a paper towel over it for 60 seconds. All right, so after a little trial and error, I'd say I actually needed about, I'd say uh, 75 seconds or a minute and 15 seconds. And you're also just supposed to let it sit for about 10 seconds because as you can see, it's very hot. All right, so this is what it should look like when it's all cooled. All right, Lily, you wanna do the taste test? Yes. All right. It's good? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right, so um, when all is said and done, it took about 20 minutes to cook the entree the side and the dessert. And we only use things that we could find in our fridge and our pantry. So I deem it a success.